Today we will learn about different data types in Python. So why do we need to learn about data types? There are various reasons that we should learn about data types. For example, to optimize data storage or to optimize computational time. Uh, often in Python, when we do some calculation with integer, large integer, actually takes more time than with float numbers. Or to debug our code, um, we might uh, see that the type errors, it means that we uh, didn't use the correct data types for our function. And to organize data for easy to access and retrieval and also for processing or to apply correct operations. There are also many other reasons that we should know about data types in Python. And in Python, we have many different data types. So, for example, primitive data types consist of numeric, string, boolean, or none. And derived data types from primary data type, we can um, have different data types. So, sequence, set, mapping, and other data types from other external packages. For example, from NumPy, we have array data types. Or from PyTorch, we have tensor data types. So the derived data types is just the way you organize primitive data types into different ways. So we have derived data types. Uh, here is uh, primitive data types, for example, integer one or float 1.0 or complex number or string. Boolean, we just have true or false and none, none not zero in here. And here is, is uh, the code in uh, spider. It looks like this. X is integer, so X is 1. X now is uh, float, 1.2, and so on. And derived data types. In here, we have list, tuple, range, set, and frozen set, and tick. So example list here consists of character A and integer 2. So a list immutable, it means that we can modify uh, this list and order. This means that we can uh, access the first element is A, the second is B, and the third element is uh, C, uh, and also index, uh, indexing and slicing, and also could have duplicate elements. It means that in this list, we can have two elements uh, of A. And uh, tuple, tuple is uh, not mutable. It means that once you create a tuple, you cannot modify it. And range, yes, you can modify it. And it's order indexing. And, and set, there are two types of set, uh, normal set and frozen set. Frozen set, you cannot modify it. Once you create, you cannot add another element to it, or you cannot change the element and dictionary, dictionary consists of uh, the key, which which he name, age, and sex in here, and the value. For example, name is the a key, and the value is John. So dictionary can contain uh, many different uh, data types. For example, in this uh, example you see here, dictionary could contain a list, tuple, tuple, also. And with dictionary, you cannot have two duplicate key. For example, I just have a key name in here. I cannot have another key with name. So, so let's open uh, a spider and we do some. Uh, so let's open spider and create some data types. Here is my spider. And the link to this code is, is in the video description that you can find below. Here, for example, we have some primitive data types. So F9 in here, and you, as you run, we see here X is integer, psi 1. X now is, is float, and now it's complex. You see here it changed, and now it's string. And this is boolean, and this is no one and uh, none type. You see, it, it changes, and we can convert battery and primitive data types. So, example, we convert 
flow to integer here. F9 will be 2, so integer of 2.1 is 2, and also float of 1 is 1.0, boolean of 1 is true, string of 1 is here. So, and derived data type, we can have list, tuple, list, tuple. The difference is it's just square bracket and here bracket and range. So my list here, F9, my tup, tuple, my range, and my set. You see this is a curly bracket. So if you mix up in here, square bracket, normal bracket, and curly bracket, it's actually different data types. And frozen set in here, F9. And dictionary, this is the key. You can have any name, tuple, uh, in here. So this is my dictionary. My dick, and we can convert battery in derived data type. So, example from list to tuple here, here, here. You can convert tuple to list, list to set, and dick uh, to set. But here, let's see this one F9. So, we can only get the dick key, not the value. This is the value, this is the key, and you can access. Item of list, tuple, range, and tick in here. For example, in Python, the first element is zero, not one. So the first is a, my tuple, the first is also a, my tick. So with dictionary, you access by the key. For example, I want to access this, uh, this value. I just type the key in here. And you can also convert uh, set to list and access the element of uh, set here. Yeah. Or you can also loop over the items of the set here. It will print out 0 to B. And there's uh, many uh, useful methods. For example, you can append an element to a list, for example, here. You append 34 to my list. My list is now A, 2, B, and 34. Or you remove the item, so you just type my list dot, and you will see there are many different methods. Here, for example, and you see the instruction, the description, count here, and so on. And there are other different data types, for example, from external package, for example, from NumPy package in here. Let's import NumPy package. And so this is to calculate the size of the uh, data. So here, for example, we have uh, NumPy, we can create integer array here, and we can create float array. So we have different type of integers in NumPy, for example, int 8 or uh, float 64, float 32. So of course the size will be different. Thanks for your interest in this video. Please subscribe to my channel to get updated about my latest videos.